I'm here with Aaron Gerlach, and Aaron has brought us a way to take the sea home with us, essentially, right? I did. All of your shells, you can make some pretty art with it now. This, I have to tell you, I pick up the seashells and then I never know what to do with them. This is the perfect project cool. for you, Julie. So instead of doing it on a mirror, we're going to do it on a picture frame, but know okay. that you can stick it directly to a mirror if you would like to. So you just have an ordinary picture frame wherever you want, um, and then we're going to just start kind of building it up. So we're gonna use a, a clay, mm -hmm. and uh, it's gonna work also as an adhesive, so you don't have to worry about gluing the shells down, which is nice. Um, I have to say, I have a frame that some friends made for me in high school that they glued little things to, and they've all fallen off now. That's exactly Exactly it. So we're going to mix up uh, this clay. So you mix parts um, A and B, right? Because they don't become active right. until they come together. You got it. Okay. You got it. And so that's what's gonna hold everything all together. So why don't you mix away? I'm going to. And I have some that's already mixed. Okay. And we're going to start doing this project. Cool. So something else that you can't do with uh, the hot glue is mm -hmm. put a heavy shell onto because it just won't hold the weight. No, it will not hold the weight. Something that I personally like to do with hot glue is burn myself. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. Um, but it does happen. And so there's no hot glue here. You do not have to burn yourself it's today. It's true. Like, it's your lucky day. So you want to start You're, you're with, not covering the whole frame. No, I'm not going to cover it. But you can. Okay. You definitely can. There's examples of, of covered frames. So you want a clean, debris-free surface. You want to make sure your shells don't have any sand on them. Rinse them off. Make sure they're dry. Um, and then um, you you can just start building up. I like to lay them out on the frame first and then kind of like put them to the side like this so I kind of know where I'm going with it. But um, you know, perfect example is this big void in here. So I just kind of take this, and you can't do this with the other types of glue out there. Right. And I'm gonna seat this right in here. And it's really that easy when you're you just start. kind of pushing the re almost like bezeling or mm -hmm. something like yep. that, the so, rest of the clay around there. Yep. And if you don't like it, the other nice thing is so I didn't like I was putting that there, so I'm going to move that. And you can't, you can't do that with the other glues out there because once you stick it, it's done. As and someone so, who likes to change their mind all the time. All the time, times, <laughs> right? So you can pick it up then and look at it how you like, and then um, kind of just keep going from there. So. Okay. If I were to keep going with that, it would look all beautiful, just like this over here. So this looks different to me because not only is there a lot more stuff, but you, this is textured somehow. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get to that. I'll okay. show you how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna do the other corner though, because... Symmetry. Um, well, yeah. And and this side kind of builds up a little bit more. So this is what it's okay. gonna look like um, when we're done. So we're gonna take these shells and you, any kind of shells will work. That is they a don't super have to be, cool shell. Yeah, I, I had... Um, where do you go to the beach? Because I, I want to go not. there and find um, I shells. had these kind of inherited to me, ah. and it worked out so fantastic. I am so thankful for those shells. They've made this project really fun. Um, so you're going to just kind of keep going and just adding. And you have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time, but you have a lot of time to sit and work with Meaning us. Meaning before the clay hours. hardens. Yeah, a good two hours. You can oh, really so you can sit answer and, the phone yes, and not worry about yes, it. Yes, it's not like a dire need thing. Okay. No, so we're going to kind of like, I like a focal point, point on I was going to say, you're even going like into the glass mm -hmm. there, basically. Yeah, and it's going to stay. It's going to stay. You know, you could even do, I've seen some projects where people turn frames into like serving trays. Like you could totally Perfect. do this for like a drinks tray mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. It would be really cool. It is very cool. So you can also put other objects in this also. Like um, Like beads. rocks. Oh. You could embed sand into it. That would so, be super cool. So you could actually yeah. take the real sand from the beach yeah. vacation with yeah. a photo of you at the beach. Perfect, right? And, okay, so then see how mm -hmm. this one kind of broke right there? So I don't want to use the broken shell, right? Okay. But... Um, I can use a broken shell that just has the edge broken, and this is another great way to cover that all up um, and hide the piece that's broken. So like this edge, you can shove some clay in there. So covering that up is really easy to do, and then you can You're use You're just stabbing a, it, basically. I, I am kind of stabbing it with this with Looks this like a tool. dental tool or but something. But it's nice to use a tool to get up underneath, and that really is gonna secure the shells. But you don't have to have a fancy tool to do this. You can just use a regular pen, 
and a little water or a release agent of some sort. And so we're gonna go in. Oh my gosh, I was wondering how you got these really cool circles. Yes. And now I can see they almost look like sea urchin circles mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. You don't That's have really to neat. stipple at all if you don't want to. But it I really love the way it blends looks. it in with the shells and hides, you hide the glue basically yeah. is what you're doing. And um, you just want, like I said, make sure you get all underneath of it. And could you keep add some color to the clay if you wanted it to be either like totally. browner or yeah, you green could add any or... kind of paint or mica powders. Now or... I know you have a trick for if you don't actually have shells and stuff, you, you can actually sort of shells, make them, right? You can make them. They even they even sell pre-made okay, so shells how do we and do things that? like that. So you, I just picked some um, random shells mm -hmm. up and then some resin pieces that are made. And uh, so what I did was I just painted. It, this pretty little seahorse. Mm -hmm. And so let's just go ahead and add this then to so the So I frame. see you have a mold here because I just want to point out like mm -hmm. for people who aren't familiar with the process of making resin yeah. and stuff, you can here. take anything, you go ahead and then you put um, the clay into the mold, right? Yeah. And then it basically comes out I mean, it seems like magic to me. It comes out as that. Now, do you leave the clay in the mold until it hardens, or do you take it out before? We're going to attempt to take this out beforehand <laughs> because I used a release agent. I okay. can do that. And so you can uh, use that and then go and take the edges off and bend it around. And then you could put, if you wanted to, you could put a little dragonfly on your... Which is so and cool. And brush it with mica powders because that really just adds to the shells. And so... Like you just add this. You can. It can so be an you afterthought too. You don't need too. to find you don't a seahorse. Do it right now. No, oh, you don't that's need a great to. tip. So in a week, if you want to come back and you go, oh, that really needs a seahorse right there. You can add more clay, and guess what? You can go back and blend it all in with the same pen and that you used before. And this is another way too of adding that color that we were looking for yes. because you've obviously, I assume, painted this. It didn't come out of the mold looking no, like that. It didn't. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? That would be super, that would be super cool. cool. I always wish there were art shortcuts like that where you could do it. Or I know the other piece you have here which is so beautiful mm -hmm. is this mermaid right and yes. if you wanted to do something that was more like a sailor's valentine or something oh, yeah. more you nautical just themed that right on there. Mm -hmm. so you really it's either find it or make right. it happen right and, and you, nobody can tell the difference you can and you know the other nice thing a lot of people question is how to shine up your shells oh yeah and i learned a great trick with it's called um something like a it's, it's an oil, but it's a butcher's mm -hmm. oil. It's used okay. in the kitchen. Um, and it's the same thing they put on wood, and that shines your shells right up, and that's what this will do over here. Super so it cleans cool. it up easy. Well, let's look at some of the finished projects that you have here and discuss. I mean, I think the thing that I can see, I love this one that has the rope. Yeah. in it because I think that adds a real it's nautical great theme. Yes. I'm thinking of some other nautical ideas you could take in like you could certainly take in um, any sand, any like just mm -hmm. rocks and right. certainly if you don't live near the beach I mean this is something if you went on a mountain adventure can you take things like dried leaves and stuff like that or is that too uh, Maybe not crumbly? so much dried leaves. If you coated them mm -hmm. and put you know some kind of a coating on you could definitely use dried leaves But like that branches way. and stuff rocks, like that. You could rocks. do it with rocks. Yes. That would any be really cool. Stuff. And you could, you know, really decor your whole bathroom. Oh, you were thinking like a towel pine holder. Cones. Pine cones would be great. Um, you could even put a jar, a small jar, with some pieces that you collect in it, and then stick it oh, on there. I was going to say so there's a great like, example here, right? It is. Where well, that's you've your jar of that. shells that you have sitting there. That's what it looks like right now, right, mm -hmm. in your home. And then this is what you can do with it now. And you can put it on the glass. You can put it on a wood frame. You can put it on a picture frame. You can put it on. Could you anything. put it directly on the wall if you wanted to have like an insert? Or something. You could, but the drywall would give away before the clay would, just <laughs> okay. so you know. Okay. I mean, that's, yeah, it would work really well.